Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarbul Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. His Majesty praised the positive outcomes that resulted from His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa's visit to Qatar, which affirms both countries' keenness to enhance brotherly ties and bilateral cooperation in order to benefit both countries and their people. The Emir of Qatar welcomed the visit of His Royal Highness Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman. Mohammed bin Hamad Al Khalifa and added that it will contribute to strengthening bilateral relations. The call also included discussions of topics regarding regional affairs. As part of the official visit to Qatar, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met today with the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, at the Emiri Diwan in Doha. During the meeting, His Royal Highness stressed that both Bahrain and Qatar's commitment to advancing bilateral cooperation will continue to facilitate promising opportunities and strengthen joint working between the two countries. His Royal Highness noted that the advancement of these signs will play a pivotal role in further supporting wider GCC integration. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Thani, the Deputy Emir, His Highness Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani, personal representative of the Emir, Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser Al Thani, Prime Minister and Minister of Interior, and a number of senior Qatari officials attended the meeting. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa, along with a number of senior Bahraini officials, also attended the meeting. During the meeting, His Highness the Emir of Qatar welcomed His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to Qatar, praising the strength of long standing relations between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince conveyed His Majesty King Hamad's best wishes to the Emir of Qatar and its people and expressed his hopes for the country's further prosperity and development. His his Royal Highness the Crown Prince emphasized the importance of cooperation between GCC countries, which is a vital component in ensuring the GCC continues to be unified in its approach to the various challenges facing the region. The Crown Prince also highlighted the importance of further building on integration efforts to ensure the GCC continues to succeed and is in a position to compete amongst other global blocs. The Crown Prince went on to note that continued efforts to to strengthen the GCC as an entity reflects member states' shared belief in a common destiny and the strategic importance of the regional bloc. In this regard, His Royal Highness noted the central importance of protecting the pillars of security and stability within the GCC and achieving the aspirations of greater prosperity and sustainable development shared by the region's leaders and citizens. His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, Emir of the State of Qatar, then hosted a launch banquet in honor of His Royal Highness and the accompanying delegation. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today arrived in the state of Qatar for an official visit which His Royal Highness met with the Emir of the state of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. Upon arrival, His Royal Highness accompanied by the representative of His Majesty the King Hamad for Charity and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and Deputy Prime Minister Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa and a number of ministers and officials was received by the Deputy Emir of the State of Qatar, His Honor Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, and the minister in attendance to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Qatari Minister of Culture and Sports, Salah bin Ghanim Al Ali. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed pleasure in visiting Qatar and meeting the Emir, which reflects the strong bonds between the two nations and ongoing efforts to advance GC 
ICC, Arab and Islamic cooperation. He highlighted that His Majesty King Hamad's commitment to advancing bilateral cooperation across the GCC underpins successful partnerships in a range of areas and that intensified collaboration is paramount to addressing regional challenges. He noted that his visit follows on from the recent visit of His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and remarked that the exchange of visits demonstrates Bahrain's commitment to continue building on the strong Bahraini Qatari ties in order to achieve the GCC shared goals of advancing stability and prosperity across the region. The Bahraini delegation accompanying His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, includes the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, Minister of Interior Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Minister of Finance Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning Assam Khalaf, President of the Court of the Crown Prince Sheikh Khalifa bin Daij Al Khalifa, Private. Secretary to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince is Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, Director General of the First Deputy Prime Minister Office, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Chief Executive Officer of Bahrain's Economic Development Board, Khalid Al Ramehi, the Advisor of Media Affairs at the Court of the Crown Prince Isa Al Hamadi, Executive Director of Protocol at the Court of the Crown Prince Sam Al Jassim, and the Charge of the Affairs of the Bahraini Embassy in Qatar, Nasser Al Qatami. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited today Hamad International Airport on the sidelines of his official trip to Qatar. His Royal Highness was accompanied by the Deputy Emir of the State of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and 
Deputy Prime Minister Zahani Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, as well as a number of senior officials. During the visit, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted Hamad International Airport's role in further advancing the travel and tourism sector across the region. In this regard, His Royal Highness further highlighted that tourism and travel contribute to supporting the region's logistics sector. He added that Hamad International Airport strengthens Qatar's standing regionally and globally through the growth of air transport between GCC countries and the world. As part of his official visit to the state of Qatar, which focuses on advancing bilateral relations between the two countries, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, toured the Losail International Circuit in Doha. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the GCC's achievements across a wide range of development areas, adding that the sports industry continues to grow and improve across the region. His Royal Highness in particular noted the role of the Bahrain International Circuit, the Losail International Circuit and 
the Yas Island Marina Circuit in hosting international sports events and facilitating citizens' contribution to the organization of successful motorsports events. His Royal Highness praised the circuit's achievements in hosting a prestigious motorcycle races, stressing that motorsports has grown to become a key mechanism for promoting the region and accelerating sustainable economic growth. The Deputy Emir of the State of Qatar, Zanish Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa, were also present. The Bahraini parliamentary delegation concluded today the official visit to Thailand during which they held a number of meetings. The delegation was seen off by the chairman of the Bahraini Thai Friendship Committee among a number of Thai parliament members and Bahrain's ambassador to Thailand, Adil Satir. The speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mullah, asserted an increase in the number of joint projects between Bahrain and Thailand, noting the historic relations between the two countries. He affirmed Bahrain's firm stance towards Thailand and the importance of maintaining its security and stability. The Bahraini delegation also agreed to coordinate the UNA and unite its parliamentary stances with Thailand in the following international parliamentary events. The delegation discussed means of cooperation between the two countries' representative councils to implement the outcomes of the meeting with the president of the National Legislative Assembly of Thailand. The meetings also discussed ter tourism and terrorism and ways to combat terrorist organizations that aim to threaten countries' unity and security. The representative speaker commended the contributions of the Thai community in Bahrain to the comprehensive development process, highlighting the role of Thailand's ambassador to Bahrain in reinforcing the strong ties. The Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, chaired the weekly meeting today where the Council approved a proposal to amend the Constitution of the Kingdom of Bahrain and its explanatory memorandum. The amendment aims to maintain the security and stability of the Kingdom, support military bodies and provide a high living standards for citizens. The meeting also approved three proposals regarding the Code of Conduct of the Shura Council, Penal Code and Traffic Law. The Council then approved a draft law regarding transferring convicts from Bahrain to India. The Minister of Finance, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, visited today the industrial zone of Ankara Industrial Board. He toured the area, accompanied by the board's president, Nuruddin Ozdibor. The area includes 270 factories and provides job opportunities for over 35,000 people. The minister confirmed that Turkey has taken larger strides in industrial development, expressing keenness to enhance cooperation in this field and raise the volume of commercial exchange between the two countries. Sheikh Ahmed asserted the importance of exchanging official visits between the two countries to expand fields of joint cooperation in economic and financial fields. He noted the important role of institutions in the public and private sectors in Bahrain in hosting meetings with their Turkish counterparts to exchange experiences and ideas about the best means to create joint projects and investments in the near future. Bakın ziyareti Türkiye için ülkemiz için son derece önemli. This visit is not only important for us in the area, but also for Turkey as a whole. Bahrain and Turkey share history, beliefs, and many other things. For this reason, we are honored to have strong ties with Bahrain, and we seek to develop these relations in the industrial field. It was a very important visit for us because uh, nowadays we know that Bahrain is a very friendly country and uh, we would like to improve our business relationships in Bahrain and uh, we are pleased to uh, introduce them our production and design capabilities. We hope that we can uh, have them in our facilities in more detail and tell, tell them about our capabilities in more details but I, uh, I feel that it's a good start uh, as a visit.